Hi, this is Sabratha and welcome to Word of the Day, where we use the UK's primary curriculum to build your vocabulary one word at a time. And today's word is hindrance. All right, kids, you know the drill by now, and I'd like you to go and get your dictionaries, whiteboards, whiteboard pens, rough books, anything that you write on, and I'd like you to put the word hindrance into a sentence after having looked up the definition. Now, you've got five minutes on the clock, off you go.
Fantastic children, let's see if you can share your sentences with your teacher or your partner. Go. Let's have a look at the dictionary definition. Hindrance, a thing that provides resistance, delay or obstruction to something or someone. That means if you are experiencing something that is delaying you from doing something, that thing is a hindrance to you. Here's an example sentence. The delay in receiving equipment caused a hindrance to the development project. Now note the word to is next to hindrance here because it is causing a hindrance to something. So if you received your equipment late, then of course it's going to delay your project. It's going to cause a hindrance as to how fast you can get the project done. Another example could be that a person can be a hindrance to you. So let's say that you were a chef and your trainee chef wanted to come and help, but instead knocked over the cooking pot and spilled the contents everywhere. Then now your trainee is being a hindrance to you more than a help. Heard that one before? So let's see how we spell the word hindrance. I like to break up the word into three parts like this. Hin, dr, ants. Hin, dr, ants. Now there's a reason for why I've broken it up this way. The first two sound segments are pretty straightforward. They uh, follow the natural syllables of the sound. We have the first sound segment, hin, the second sound segment, dr, and then I have the suffix ants on the end. Now if you've been following the word of the day series, then you will know that I recently did a word convenience, which also has the suffix ents. But be careful that this one, it begins, this sound segment begins with the letter A, whereas the word convenience, the sound segment ents started with an E, as in the letter E. So you have the suffix ents and ants, and in this case, the word hindrance ends with ants. Be careful. 
So let's see if you can have a go at spelling the word hindrance by yourself. In a minute, the word is going to go away and you're going to get 10 seconds to have a go without any help. So here is the word one last time for you to look at. Have a good look. And 10 seconds on the clock, go. Well done children, let's see if you got that right. The word hindrance is spelt H-I-N-D-R-A-N-C-E. That's H-I-N-D-R-A-N-C-E. Fantastic work kids, really proud of how you're getting along, especially if you've been following my videos up until now. We are on the 50th word, yay! I'm especially proud of myself because I've managed to stick to it thus far. I've got a fifth, another 50 more words to go until we complete the word of the day series. And then I will be able to do full one hour long lessons that will be grammar, spelling and punctuation related. So stay tuned. That was excellent work today. Tune in tomorrow for tomorrow's word of the day. Have a great day and I will see you next time. Hi teachers, how are you? I am so proud to have reached my 50th word. It has been a bit of a marathon. I am halfway through. I have another 50 or so words to go yet. And at the end, I will be completing the word of the day series and then starting my one hour long lessons. Full, complete with lesson plans and resources for you to use with your children directly in the classroom. So hit that subscribe button, stay up to date with all of the latest news related to the channel and have a great day and I'll see you next time. Spelling and punctuation related.